Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 435 for inverse coin change. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, this one, there are a couple of edge cases that I was tripped up by, to be honest. Um, you know, but honestly, it's um, the, the key thing about this is that it is unique. So, because this is unique, then that means that it, there exists one smallest um, integer, right? Uh, and that's basically, and then from that, you can kind of reconstruct it each way. I think a good, uh, I mean, this is a really hard problem for beginners or even like intermediate because it requires a sense of a grasp of coin change, the problem. Um, and if you don't understand how coin change works, then this problem just becomes like really tricky, right? Uh, and apparently, even if you do know how it works, it is tricky, right? So definitely, um, before you get deeper into this problem, solve the, the I think like the probably three or four different coin point change problems in the code. So definitely make sure you you solve them, you understand them, and so forth before kind of proceeding, right? I mean, just there's no point of quote unquote understanding how to run if you don't know how to walk, right? Honestly, so you have to be able to do that before you even understand it, so you can actually solve it. And then after that, it just becomes well. Um, yeah, uh, if you have the smallest number, then how would you construct the array of the number of ways? Um, and that's basically what I have. I mean, the, the first, th those are the two things that I first noticed, right? Is that, okay, I know that from here I could get the smallest number because the smallest number has to be two. Well, that means that every, uh, here, in minus two, that means for every multiples of two, it's multiples of twos, but even more than that, right? In this, the first number is going to be multiples of twos. So maybe actually it is just the multiples now that I think about it. Uh, maybe I am wrong. Hmm. But yeah, uh, yeah, maybe maybe I am a little bit imprecise when I was thinking about this during the contest. But the idea is that, okay, now you have two. That means that every multiple of twos is one more way, right? Um, of adding to it. And so that means that two, four, six, eight, dot, dot, dot. And then you subtract one from all those places, and then you would get one from four, uh, from here, uh, one. Yeah, uh, and then here you have one, you know, and so forth, right? And then after that, you go, well, let me actually write this a little bit and ask you a little bit. So, okay. So you have something like this, right? And you know that the first number is going to be two. So that means that now uh, we can go back and then from this array, we can reconstruct a new one where we remove two from the answer, right? And here you may have, um, well, five, we know that, uh, and I'm, I'm saying this, assuming that you already know coin change, which is that f of five is equal to, uh, we'll have some form like f of uh, three plus, f of you know the another number and so forth right so for some x right um maybe more maybe more precisely if instead of three is five minus two which is the number that we uh just had and also five minus k which is another number right so then now uh but we can all, at the very least we move this part or this you know dot 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 at the very least we can remove this part right um and so now that means that uh, oh, and I get this wrong. This is not five. This is ten, right? So ten. Sorry. Uh, so this is gonna be ten minus two. So that means that here, this is a one, right? Um, because now we have, yeah, we have one. So. It's going to look something like this. So we have zero because we, we removed the two. Uh, this is going to be a one because now there's no way to go from the, the one, right? Uh, and then and then it just kind of goes that way for a little bit. And then you have an array that looks like this, right? And then now what's the next smallest number? The next smallest number is a four, right? In the fourth position. So that's a four. So then now we can say the next number is a four. And then now you remove one from here, and I guess one from, uh, technically, this, you go backwards, right? So here, this number, we subtract 
from uh, n minus 4, so this is going to be a 0. Uh, this, we subtract n minus 4, so this is going to be a 0. Uh, this one, n minus 4, is actually 0, so that means that there's one unique case, and then you have 0 left. And then now, now we have 1, meaning that, okay, well, the next position is at 6, so then now this is 6. And that's really the general idea is that you keep on doing this um, because you keep on removing the, the smallest number and then removing what impact it has on the nums array, which requires an understanding of the coin change problem. And this is basically how I solved it. Um, I actually quite added a one just so that I shift everything over, but for two reasons. One is that um, in numbers in coin change, there's one way to make zero dollars. So that's basically why I added there. And also it makes the indexing such that um, it's a little bit cleaner because um, the third position has indexes two, which is now you know mapped to the numbers a little bit better, right? So here we have all, uh, and then now we try to find, is there a one that is not at the zero index, right? So basically all this does is that is there one because if there's no one then it's just impossible right because yeah it's just not possible the reason being that um well now you don't have a smallest number so like oh, your smallest number is a two then uh, if there are two ways to choose your smallest number then that is just incorrect your smallest number will always have a once i did it this way you can you can do it in another way i think as well um, but yeah, if if there's no more ones, then there are only two cases where okay, there's only one number left, and it is the original at zero. So then we return the answer because we already calculated it. Otherwise, we return empty array because that means that there are a lot of things left in the nums ways array, but it's not possible to get to them because we don't have a unique smallest number. And that's basically the idea. Uh, otherwise, then now we set R as the smallest number, which is the position of the one. And then here we backwards, um, we back out what happens if we remove R from the smallest number from the numbers of way. And this, the, the key part about this is just that this is almost like a reverse of the coin change problem. So do the coin change problem again. Uh, and this is like basically the reverse of it. The only thing that's a little bit different and I got a wrong answer on is basically this part. Um, I missed a case where, for example, if your numbers of way was, um, let's say, um, one zero, meaning that there's one way to do one, but zero ways to do two, that's just not possible because you, this has to be at least a one because you get one plus one, right? Um, similar, there are a number of similar, similar sorry, there are a number of similar uh, uh, test cases like that, right? Because you can have one ways to do the number two, but zero ways to do the number four is also impossible, for example. Um, and this is basically how I would check for it. Um, and yeah, and that's it. Uh, what is the complexity here, right? Well, um, this is a little bit, that part is a little bit tricky. Uh, numbers of ways only goes up to 100, right? And you do remove uh, lazily speaking, you do remove one number every time, so there's going to be a hundred, you know, every time you do this loop, this while true loop, you remove one number, and there's at most a hundred numbers here, so that means that this while loop does at most a hundred times, right? And here, inside the loop, there's a O of N loop, um, so that's going to be O of N times O of N, so this is an N square algorithm. And that's it. Uh, that's all we have for this one. Uh, and for n is equal to 100, we should be fine. I don't, actually it seemed a little bit smaller. We could probably have done a little bit more, but but I guess the the, the numbers would get too big, and and it doesn't really change the problem because you know the solution is tricky enough as is. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and yeah, you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Watch it because I haven't seen a easy easy in a while. But all right, let's let's take a look. Inverse coin chain. Do 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 do. Wait to select. Uh, so it can then, hmm, okay. That seems like a funky problem. Uh, one way or another. Do, 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 do. So there's a hundred. Hmm. I can't believe I got it. I, I just watched it. 
Okay. Um, hmm. So let's see. They're all unique. So that means that by definition you have one, right? So then now, um, yeah, okay. So um, how do I write this? So the smallest one is going to be, okay, so num, okay, so answer do, 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 while true, but uh, if num ways, and it only has a hundred elements anyway. So if one is one ways, then uh, we could, maybe I could do this a little bit better. We'll see uh, if I need to worry about it. Yeah, the, that number doesn't matter. Okay, so then now, uh, oh, I see what to whatever, wait. Right? Return empty because it's just not possible. Otherwise, okay. Right? And then now, enter that append r and. Hmm. What does that mean? Now you remove that. Remove. Three, two. Okay, then it's just um, something like. So I oh um it's one indexed so okay so I want one basis no I don't want that okay so that means that um if this is a one then okay uh, minus r so minus nums ways i minus r something like this if i minus r da, 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 right right Mm. Okay, and the nums num race of r is equal to zero, maybe. Someone like this. Does that work? Nope. Um hmm. Okay, that's definitely way wrong. So five zero if it's zero, then we don't. Is that true? Does that work? No. It does one loop. Does this? Um, well, that's a two, but on index one, that's why I wanted to do it that way. Oops. Yeah. This is a little bit awkward though, because you don't want the first one, because even though that technically you always have a case here. Um, how do I do write it that way? I forget. Uh, one away index after. Is it like a start element on index? No, index method. Silly. <sighs> Okay, so index one of one. I think maybe that works. One is not in the list. Oh, um, I guess this would never be true. So, eh, how do I find this? Uh, okay, fine. Mm. 
Mm, technically more Pythonic anyway. Okay, still very wrong. Not great. So it takes the one. Duh, 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 duh. Then does this, right? So why is this returning zero? Oh, because eventually it runs out. Mm, I think it just returns answer maybe. Um, that's not quite right though, right? Man, I'm so bad at this. It's um okay. So if sum of num ways is you go to one, then we return answer. Otherwise, something like that, right? All right, that looks good. A little bit slow, but looks good. Yolo submit. I just so many wrong answers today. <laughs> Maybe I'm rushing it too much. Uh, one zero. Why? Why is that? Um. Oh. Hmm. I guess so. There's like a five running around. Because if you have one, then um. All the numbers. So this is not right. Um. It should be that. Okay, so do, 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 do. it should be if num ways of i minus r is greater than your zero or greater than than here if do, 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 do. else uh, return do, 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 do. hope this is right yellow submit. Okay, uh, a lot of wrong answers today. Uh, not so great, not Gucci, but still, oops. I don't know why they let me play it early, but okay. So, I mean, the timing is off, but, uh, but how much time do we have left? It doesn't even say because the code is really silly with the bugs. Uh, one hour and 20 minutes, so we're 10 minutes in. All right, let's go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about well, today's problem, this contest, everything in between. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.